Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Invest 98L, which could become Hurricane Marco or Laura, depending on if it gets named earlier than Invest 97L. I will make updates once these systems actually form. The National Hurricane Center gives Invest 98L a 70% chance of formation through the 48 hours and a 90 through 5 days. Before we get into the models, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you like weather related content. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to click the subscribe button if you like weather related content, hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into the models. Intensity guidance for 98L, potential Marco or Laura, is very, very, very split. Some models have it peaking at only tropical storm intensity, while some have it category 2 to category 1 intensity, with one peaking very close to category 3 intensity, but then it shoots down to below tropical depression level, so that's a little odd. But um, none of the models have the system below a tropical storm. The system will be named at some point, no doubt, but the exact intensity of the system is quite unclear right now. It could become a hurricane, there's a small chance it becomes a major hurricane, and there's also that small chance that it doesn't go anything above a tropical storm. Some paths the system could take are pictured here. It could become a fish storm and not affect much land, or it could rip right through Cuba, Dominican Republic, Florida, or it could pull into the Carolinas and then back into the ocean, kind of like Isaia did. Um, but the track of the system, also very uncertain. So we will need to watch this closely and wait for the system to form to see actual National Hurricane Center forecasts. These paths here are actually quite in agreement, kind of, until it gets closer to Florida and the Bahamas. Some look like it has it splitting around the Bahamas and becoming a fish storm. Some could have it approaching North Carolina. Some have it ripping through those islands, Cuba, and entering the Gulf, which could be very problematic if it enters the Gulf, and I'll show you why in a second. These are current sea surface temperatures. The Gulf, very, 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 very warm at this time, and if any of those systems can enter the Gulf, it can rapidly intensify into above Category 1, Category 2, Category 3 intensity. While there are cooler waters out east, east of Florida, some there are some pockets of those warmer waters where that system can further strengthen, particularly over the Bahamas. That's your trusted weather forecast for a potential Hurricane Marco. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.